everyone, it's Yambors, new video, new masterclass, Windows 95 man, no rules, staging first. Yes, I don't want to comment about the song, what I think it's doing at Eurovision, blah, 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 this is not a review. This is more like a review of the staging, but more likely a masterclass to pinpoint stuff which was working here, in my opinion. This staging was really suit on this song perfectly. Like, I'm telling you in advance that I will not have probably so many comments on like a wrong stuff, what, what, what went wrong, but the good stuff. Regardless the song, what I think about it, the perfect staging or the staging which is done perfectly is the one which respects what it does, who is representing, what is represented and pinpointing it, pinpointing it all the strengths it has. It doesn't matter if the song I like or is a song I dislike. It must be like, you know, egoless, supporting things, what is what are important and in my opinion in here it really nailed you know that this is this is like chef's kiss of a joke in a good way like i really had fun watching it and we will now watch it together and then i will step by step show you what was working what was not no rules already brilliant established like what the hell is happening what is going on i will just make it a little bit you say like first 20 or 15 seconds nothing and then you have this shot you know like come here, like what and i love they play all the time he's naked you know and it's cringe but it's cringe on purpose this is such a different way of nudity you know if you compare it, for example, to UK, this has a taste somehow, because it tells you that it <laughs> it just shows that it's a pure comedy, you know, you, the approach is completely different. The only thing what I would say that I would expect more disco beats and with lights, this, but this is a pure comedy, they, they sold it as a pure movie, you know. This is just cool. This is this slide transition very good. The dancers, it plays the cliche. <laughs> they didn't try, they didn't hide it. <laughs> now it works, now it supports this beat. They play, this is like a scene from a movie, it's not a... The choreography makes sense. This is perfect. The dress is the looks. It's a it's a trolling, but trolling made very well. And this it's very well done, made cringe. I don't I don't like the red one, the red color over there. Signal that everything's ready. This is empty shot. Absolutely worthless. Until now. And this is cool. It was much better in Finnish national selection because they I think they need to have much more safety rules, so it was most crazy, but I love it. Like this this is the best pyro effect ever. But of course they kill it with this safety measure because they cannot one thing I don't understand why the hell it's the stage so dirty this is i really hate it <laughs> okay Mina. uh so let's go through it so you have two options how to look at this staging right now one is the very very technical lights and so on which is a correct one uh in this case i think it did like half work it doesn't really if i just go by this I probably wouldn't say I like it, but the strength, and I think this is the very important thing that when you are creating a staging, it's very important to focus on strengths. And strength in this staging, it's the comedy aspect, it's the script, it's basically a scene from a movie, you know? 
And if you look at this perspective on it, what it can, what can it give it to you? You will be delivered exactly this. Of course, this is not a song for juries, 100% not. It wasn't singed perfectly. It's not a perfect song. It's a pure comedy. I'm surprised that the viewers didn't put more points on it, but maybe it was too much also for them at some point, you know? Probably yes. They had different favorites, but this shot is very nice. It's very atmospheric and it already tells you, oh my God, what is gonna happen in here, right? On point, it opens. And you say like, whoa, this is cool. You have the focus in here, you have different light over here, so it feels very warm. And you're like, what is this dinosaur? Reminiscence to some movie, Alien? And you have this comedy as well. Already you know that you are in the comedy. You already know it. By the choreography, this guy knows what he's doing. The ass. This is the big difference between the dirty, like looking dirty stagings on purpose of shock and this, which is just pure comedy. And you don't mind this nudity because it, it, it's just absolutely different vibe. And I think we're forgetting about it, that the context is very, very important. Because they wanted to shock with comedy, you know? This is just one part of the comedy. They just didn't want to shock on purpose to teach audience something. I think this is a huge difference. Now we have a Jin guy. I like the graphics in the LED, all the smokes. They keep it very simple, very effective. And then of course this I only what I'm saying like okay you're putting the limits on this side but uh, only thing technical what I would say that here already the song goes to the beat is there this is not enough I think something over here for example those LED strips or just fragments of those lights which are also hidden in here should use this LED strips to bring this tempo beat do, 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 do. Nothing, you know, it stays, it's empty. If you just go for it with my eyes, technically, this part, nothing is happening. It's empty, it's steady, it's static. But they had the comedy, you know, so he's doing this <laughs> stupid stuff all the time. I, but I, like their all focus was to play the game that he's na naked, right? And they did it almost, almost brilliantly, but they attached so many nice details for example finish flag over here it's you know this is cool so this is why you take the tempo is not there because the focus was main make fun again no beats only what where you want to focus is this but it's a it's a pity that this wasn't supported there because here you can see it but in those shots you cannot those lights now now, two, two, two. you see how light is important because light has a sound, right? Two, two, two. This is how it works for a brain. Again, this, they couldn't hide it over here, but let's see that. They put, and they play the Eurovision cliche, so they put the dancers, everybody is a little bit like, you know, on the side of the rainbow, but they, it, they nailed in it. That now he comes, you know, it, this is, like, I remember when I was watching it with Ellie live, we were just laughing all the time. So you don't see those imperfections. We were laughing, like really honestly laughing. And I think this was the goal. This was the simple goal. In here, all other beats are supported. So the picture looks Im immediately very dynamic because imagine that those lights don't do anything. It would feel like, like something is missing. In here, nothing is missing. It's, too much, too much of everything, same color palette, everything on purpose, but this is clearly on purpose, I don't hate it at all. Now you have this like scene. <laughs> there is, for example, this very nice detail, he's also singing. It's how I live, look. I wouldn't mind if he's a back vocalist or something. He's still that. He's, he's still singing. Brilliant, you know. It's like they use the stupidest props, like the head of the light, that the head of the guy can beat it. There's nothing like they use those t-shirts. Okay, unnecessary choreography, but fun. 
funny details. They're like details. It's more like a movie with Easter eggs, you know, for me. This is this is how I feel this thing. For me, that's why this song for me, it's much more an interval act than a serious song for Eurovision. Because this would, like, imagine how brilliant such song with such message would be if it's interval act, like no rules and then making fun of three minutes, you know, and so on. That would be brilliant. Okay, now it works, the tempo works, the camera is more dynamic, the edit is dynamic, the beat is there, the beat is supported by movements, and then you're just like, what again? And then I don't like the red in here. What they, if, because we hear the arena, they could expect the arena, in my opinion, they, it, they should show this and they should go like a round shot around the arena or something that you feel the crowd, you know, you now you feel the crowd excited. In my opinion, this is what they didn't do right. They put this red light, it made it like, oh, now we're a mysterious moment. What the hell? There is nothing mysterious about this staging. It's just a pure comedy. Don't, you don't need to change the atmosphere suddenly. I do this, just show me people having fun. In here, this would be very, very appropriate. Especially when I hear them, you know? And then we, Cringe, but proper one, okay. I'm ready. This atmosphere is not good. It's a weird shot also. And this is cool. It's craziness. Now I really would like to see people in the arena. Actually, now I found out one thing. The guys in here waiting with the cam camera. No, they were the <laughs> fire extinguishers. Nice shot. Now the dynamics is here is crazy. Of course, everything I play from the song, this carpet, I know they needed to put it there, but it looks crazily bad. I miss arena shots with the people, you know, having really fun. This this really would work. But this just works. This is just a cringe purposely. And I like it. I still like it, even though if I just pinpoint some details which didn't work, they are still there. Of course, it's ultra hardcore to create stagings. You know, it's not an easy thing. It's really so many things you need to focus at. Some countries they have like big teams. One guy for choreography separately. One guy for camera separately. One guy guy for editing separately. One guy for light separately. LED. If those people don't connect together, it looks like everybody wants to show their piece of work. Never works such a staging in such way like this. The, it, it was maybe one guy, maybe more, but you see that they cooperated together and they maybe missed some moments which they could make it be more chunkier, perfect. But the goal was have fun and that they delivered. They, they delivered it and maybe this was the only proper focus and I think it was right. I think it was a right focus on the right way, right path. And then the rest, rest mistakes, let's say, are not that necessary because the main thing, the main focus was done perfectly. And I think this is important that when you make the, the, the you choose what is the, what is the important part and you say like, it's comedy, you do comedy 100% and then you do details over the rest. And maybe they are not perfect, but they will never disturb you. You just, when I do such a breakdown, then I can see them, you know, but who does this? Who is crazy as me, you know, to do this? me but i hope i teach you something that you learn something new that you maybe look a little bit different eyes on this staging regardless what you think about the song and that you understood what why to focus on the right thing is the most important thing of staging because then the staging really helps the artist to shine even in this case they didn't receive so many points and so on and so on of course we can then can question quality of the song and what people really want in the finals sub to support but that's it and we can have different opinions right me in the comments below what do you think and it's all from me from now from now for now for now for now just watch it and watch my other videos of course support me during off season would be perfect because no one really watch eurovision stuff anymore i understand that oversaturated but i promise that i will do all the staging so you must really wait with me and i will be glad if you just continue with me on this journey maybe as a member so see you in this section there are more stagings like this and yeah, see you next time. Thank you for watching.